Unfortunately, I lost most of the footage of me sculpting this dude because my computer crashed when I was just about done editing the whole sculpting process, but you know, whatever. We're just gonna have to focus on the paint job for this uh, video, I guess. But here I am, just sculpting this dude up. I was using a, a skull as reference. Uh, but like, I noticed he was he was looking a bit googly-eyed with those just... Because I was just gonna have him have, like, eye sockets, but he was looking googly-eyed as fuck, so... I decided to add some uh, eyelids. And uh, I think that was a good choice. Now these wonky alien tendrils are just to keep the horns in place later on. So, just doing the messy part first, which would be the, the mouth. And I wanted to make him look, you know, as if he was alive still and had some uh, blood in his body. So I went with this bluish kind of color. Cover the whole thing. There we go. Working some more on these horns, I wanted to make them look really organic. So I, I worked a lot with uh, a bunch of different washes and just a lot of different color variations to, to make them look as realistic as possible went really heavy on the bags under his eyes. I wanted him to look super nasty. Like he hadn't had a night of sleep in, in ages. And here comes the dry brushing process. I love this step. It's, it's so satisfying just, I mean, the results are immediate throwing on this dry brush and you know it, it just starts coming to life some fleshy tones in his ears there and this was the my favorite part of the whole thing was to add veining and just uh, birthmarks and what have you all over this dude. I wanted to make him look really rough, like I said, really nasty, so. Here I am painting those veins and I found that using a lot of green for these uh, veins really made them look pretty darn realistic, honestly. And time for the teeth. This is too much of a white color, so dirtied them up with with a brown wash. Just using some watered down uh, red tones here to again make him look more alive. And finishing those teeth off with some dry brushing, right here. Some more blue tones under the eyes. The gums, I want them to look infected and just like, you know painful looking. This part was, I think it made it look that much more realistic just to add some pink on his uh, eyelids and also filling in that like 
gap where the eyeball meets the skin with, with some wash down pink. Really made a, a ton of difference. So, you know, that's pretty much it. That's the paint job finished. Now there's only one little funnel touch, which would be my, uh, my transparent acrylic, um, like medium varnish. I use this to glaze the horns, uh, the mouth, and then also I put some on his eyelids, like around the eyes. To make them look more realistic. And it really worked out pretty damn good, I have to say. And I put a droplet on his one of his t teeth too. Which I didn't film, but whatever. It was all the, the acrylic medium. And so now it's just a matter of uh, painting up his base. And, uh, he's all done. And now it is time for the epic reveal.